This is PV Magazine Live. We're at the Solar Power International Trade Show in Las Vegas, and I'm joined by Ron Corio, the founder and CEO of Array Technologies. Ron, thanks for talking with me. Hi, Christian. Thanks for uh, being here. And how's the show for you so far? Uh, very busy show. Um, not a minute to spare. It's been, been quite productive. Thank you. Good to hear. Good to hear. So, you know, I have some questions about the tracker market. It seems, every time I look, it seems like trackers are taking a larger and larger share of the utility scale market. And with the utility scale market in the United States growing, uh, where does this end? At what point do you think trackers will reach saturation in both utility scale and, and large commercial projects? Well, you know, I, we've pioneered the tracker market for many years, and uh, I think it's just an inevitable uh, result of uh, the economics of trackers. And, you know, I, market share is growing. I think market share will continue to grow, um, both on large and small, smaller ground-mounted commercial projects. And I think, I think the, the saturation limit could be close to 100% for trackers eventually. Um, the price of trackers is very reasonable. The power profile is uh, very favorable. It you know extends the power production to later in the evening when the uh, when the utility demand is the most and gets the most efficient use out of the equipment. Great, great to hear. Now. You know, I'm used to hearing about trackers in the Southwest, certainly, but now I'm also hearing about large tracker orders in new geographies such as the Midwest, you know, other places where we didn't previously think trackers were really feasible. Can you talk about what's going on here? Yeah, I mean, it's just just an extension of uh, of what I mentioned earlier that that tracker prices are have been dropping. Uh, there's a lot of price pressure in the industry as a whole, and um, as tracker prices drop. Yeah, the gain, uh, overall yearly gain in the Midwest or in the East isn't quite as great as in uh, the Southwest, but the economics still still pan out for trackers. And the fact that the gain is highest in the summer, highest later, you know, the, the extension of the production later in the day, especially in the summer months, when you, when you factor in all of that, um, trackers become economic in more and more geographies. You know, that's interesting. The other trend that I see happening in the tracker market is I see it becoming increasingly diversified. I see European companies, who I never thought would be in the U.S. market, suddenly coming in. Can you talk a little bit about the competitive landscape and how it looks right now? Yeah, I, there's many competitors, many new entrants to the market. Uh, Array Technologies has been manufacturing trackers for 27 years now. Um, and uh, so we've, we've kind of seen a lot of the approaches that are, that are new today that may not have been uh, um, um, seen in the market uh, until many years ago. I, I've been fortunate or unfortunate to be around that long and, and seen those things. So, uh, you know, we, we have uh, many trackers. The independent road tracker or individually motorized tracker is a new area that we see prevalent in the marketplace. Um, you know, so that's... Uh, that's where the main competition is these days. Um, and I think, you know, the issue with that is to take a deep dive into uh, operational costs, life cycle costs, O&M costs, reliability, you know, with increased complexity, those are issues that I think uh, people need to really understand because, um, you know, this is a 30-year asset that you're owning, a 30-year power plant that you're building, and uh, life cycle costs shouldn't be ignored. Indeed. Now, you okay a little bit there about price pressure. Can you talk a little bit about the price pressures you're seeing and, and what this means for issues like quality? So, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of price pressure and, uh, you know, that's a balance you have to weigh. Whenever you design a product, you need to ensure that your risk is warranted and your your risk benefit analysis is correct. So, um, you know, we at ATI, we have six gigawatts um, out in the field, I think 12 gigawatt years worth of experience and operation. So we've learned a lot of the lessons uh, over, over the 27 years of producing trackers. So, you know, hopefully we have an edge on that. Um, so, but, uh, you know, with the price pressure, comes the temptation to increase risk, uh, decrease material, take uh, take technology risk and the, and the like. 
Um, it just, uh, it, and that's all good. That's development and that's progress, but that, that must be carefully analyzed, you know? Sure, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me, Ron. All right, thank you, Christian. And this is PV Magazine Live. We're at the Solar Power International Trade Show in Las Vegas.